Mayor Adams proposed a new preliminary budget for the next fiscal year, and it deals with the city's crushing migrant crisis without all the painful cuts to city services. So how do you do it? CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now to explain. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, it was a blue smoke and mirrors that allowed Mayor Adams to unveil a budget that cut agency spending. He did it the old-fashioned way by doing things more efficiently. What a concept. Remember, it was just two months ago that the mayor said that he would slash police, fire, and sanitation services to pay for the migrant crisis. He not only found a way to restore many of those cuts, he's also cutting the cost of caring for the migrants to keep arriving here. The $109.4 billion budget closes a $7.1 billion gap. It includes $1.7 billion in asylum seeker-related savings. Going forward, we will reduce daily household costs by modifying the services and staffing models in our 18 humanitarian emergency response and relief centers. And we are negotiating and renegotiating rates and rebidding contracts in shelters run by for-profit vendors. Now, the mayor is also going to rely on nonprofit groups to run the shelters, and he's moved to reduce the shelter population by limiting the stay to 30 and 60 days. You know, Marsha, rightly so. Some people, I'm sure, are so confused. What's with this about face? I mean, suddenly he's saying, no, 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 we have to slash these budgets. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. And then now suddenly, oh, no. Forget that. Forget what I said. So there are two reasons, believe it or not. One is that, according to him, and by the way, the city council, tax receipts are up over a billion dollars. I think it's $1.3 billion. But there's another reason for that, and that's that the cuts he announced just two months ago backfired totally. He thought he was going to announce these cuts, and Washington was going to say, oh, God, no, no cuts to police, no fire, whatever. We'll give you more money. Well, as you know, that didn't happen. And so the mayor backtracked and there's another reason for that his polls plummeted so I guess he decided he wanted to be popular wasn't going to do it again back to you so <laughs> so <laughs> he's proposed this budget and as we know you don't just propose a budget and it becomes law you need the city council it's not like they're just going to say hey we love this and stamp it right they're not going to know no. because they're I mean they're gunning for him because they're unhappy with the other things that he's done so clearly they're going to try to propose some changes but this time the mayor has inoculated him himself against that because today he did something that was really sort of unusual. He appointed a panel of fiscal advisors made up of all kinds of people with fiscal uh, expertise. So if they come up to him with some idea, he can go back to this panel and say, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm sorry, they think it's a bad idea. Back to you again. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's always that. All right. It's a tightrope. Thank yes, you. Yes, that it is. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you so much.